Hey, if you have weak, tight shoulders or even bad posture, then today I'm gonna show you a beginner shoulder workout that you can do at home. The best part is this is gonna be a simple follow along routine that takes about 12 minutes. Let's get those shoulders warmed up. Coming up, seated bent YTW. Get ready. In a seated position, hinge forward through your hips, keeping your back flat. Bring your arms in front of you and make a Y, then a T, then a W. Repeat slowly. Make sure your thumbs are pointed backwards on each movement. Try to stay tall through the top of your head and relax your neck and shoulders as you hold this stretch. Inhale as you move your arms up. Exhale as you move them back to the start position. No one can challenge you more than yourself. By committing to change, you're committing to success. Every moment counts. Build to that you you want to be. Three, two, one, I'm proud of you. Up next, low chair shoulder stretch. Get ready. In a seated position, bring your hands behind you with your fingers facing away from you and lift your chest toward the sky. Try to stay tall to the top of your head and pull your shoulder blades back and down as you hold this stretch. You should feel this in your chest, shoulders, and biceps. Take a big belly breath in, exhale, and try to lift your chest to deepen the stretch. Good things take time, so focus on your form. Make this a habit, this is so good for you. Listen to your body, know when to rest. By committing to change, you're committing to success. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Up next, high chair down dog. Get ready. Place your hands on a sturdy chair or other surface. Push your butt back and drop your chest towards the ground. Try to stay tall through the top of your head. Don't let your neck bend forward. You should feel this in your hamstrings, lats underneath your armpits and shoulders. Take a big belly breath in, exhale, and try to bring your chest closer to the ground to deepen the stretch. Motivation is what gets you started. Habit is what keeps you going. Great work, you're building your energy. Go at a comfortable pace and take a breath if you need to. Slow progress is better than no progress. Make this workout part of your daily routine. Three, two, one, yes, looking good. Okay, great job on today's We Shape Warm Up. Your body should feel a little bit warmer and your muscles should feel a little bit looser. So let's dive straight into what we have in store for you today in today's We Shape Workout. Coming up, seated bent shoulder rotations. Get ready. Take a big breath in as you go up and give a big exhale as you go down. If this feels too difficult, scale down to this. 
Try to point your thumbs backwards during every rep. Squeeze your muscles at the top of each rep for a moment before moving back to the start position. Try to stay tall through the top of your head the entire time. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Next up, low chair tabletop lifts. Get ready. Take a big breath in as you go up and give a big exhale as you go down. If this feels too difficult, scale down to this. You move closer to radical self-love with each step. Make sure the chair or surface you're using is nice and sturdy, okay? Safety first. Dig deep, you can do this. Squeeze your glutes tight to fully extend the hips. Three, two, one. All right. Up next, high chair push-ups. Get ready. Take a big breath in as you go down and give a big exhale as you go up. If this feels too difficult, scale down to this. You only need to go about halfway down on this movement. Squeeze your abs and your glutes and tuck your pelvis. Don't let your back sag. Three, two, one, and great job. Round two, woo! Up next, seated bent shoulder rotations. Get ready. Try to stay tall through the top of your head the entire time. If you're ready for a more challenging movement, scale up to this. Try to remember to use the elevator to strengthen your core as you do this movement. Try to point your thumbs backwards during every rep. Squeeze your muscles at the top of each rep for a moment before moving back to the start position. You've got what it takes. Let's do this. Three, two, one, you made it. Next up, low chair tabletop lifts. Get ready. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and down as you do this movement. If you're ready for a more challenging movement, scale up to this. Strive for radical self-acceptance. Try to keep your head in line with your spine as you do this movement. Try to remember to use the elevator to strengthen your core as you do this movement. Three, two, one, great job, keep it up. Up next, high chair push-ups. Get ready.
Try to stay tall through the top of your head the entire time. If you're ready for a more challenging movement, scale up to this. Try not to let your elbows flare out as you go down and up. If this bothers your wrists, try turning your fingers out to the side. Three, two, one, you made it. Round three, here we go. Up next, seated bent shoulder rotations. Get ready. Take a big breath in as you go up and give a big exhale as you go down. Good things take time, so focus on your form. Try to stay tall through the top of your head the entire time. Squeeze your muscles at the top of each rep for a moment before moving back to the start position. Take care of your body, it's the only place you have to live. Dig deep, you can do this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Next up, low chair tabletop lifts. Get ready. If this bothers your wrists, try turning your fingers out to the side or doing them on your knuckles. Your body is perfect right now and strong and full of wonder. Don't rush this movement. The more control you have, the better. The only journey is the one within. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and down as you do this movement. Drive your heels into the ground and press your hands backward to initiate the movement. Three, two, one, you crushed it. Up next, high chair push-ups. Get ready. Take a big breath in as you go up and give a big exhale as you go down. Good things take time, so focus on your form. Try to stay tall through the top of your head the entire time. Squeeze your muscles at the top of each rep for a moment before moving back to the start position. Take care of your body, it's the only place you have to live. Dig deep, you can do this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, great job. I hope you enjoyed this beginner shoulder workout that you just did at home. Now, if you made it this far, then you should know that at WeShape, we have more workouts that you can follow along to that are great for your entire body. And the best news is you can try it out for free by clicking the link below. Or if you're feeling tight and you want a beginner stretching routine that you can follow along to, well, watch this video right here.